Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be in 100 Days of Promises, Day 27, in my 100 Days of Promises by Shauna Noel. And I'm doing this collaboration with my two sisters in Christ, Samantha, over at Glory Expressed Bible and Creative Journaling, and my sister in Christ, Judith, over at Expressions of Faith with Judith. And I'll have their links in the description box below. So let's just see how our three collaborations turn out. I'm excited to hear and see what they are going to do. Thank you for watching. And remember, if I can Bible journal, so can you. Take care. As you can see, I'm showing you several, several items that I'll be using, which are bits and pieces from different shops. I'll be using elements from Ella Rowett, elements from His Purpose in Me shop, Praise and Pray, and Illustrated Faith. And I'm just going to bring all of these bits and bobs and pieces together to make this page. I'm going to read the short devotion and then give my reflections on it. When long distance runners race, they settle into a pace that enables them to run for miles without tiring. This pace doesn't come naturally, but rather by spending months, even years, training and focusing on their goal so this sweet spot becomes second nature. You also have a sweet spot in your race of life that enables you to fulfill God's call for you. By daily fixing your eyes, your mind, your heart, and your activities on Jesus, he leads and empowers you to run with endurance until you celebrate your finish line in victory. Amen. A short, powerful devotion entitled Live with Endurance. And the scripture references are in Romans chapter 15, verse 4, Proverbs 4 and 26, Psalm 119, verse 15, and Hebrews 12, verses 1 through 2. And the first scripture that I wanted to take note of was Hebrews 12, verses 1 through 2. Let us run with endurance the race that lies before us, keeping our eyes on Jesus, the source and perfecter of our faith. And the other scripture is Psalm 119, verse 15 says, I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. Isn't that awesome? So as you can see, I have my runner there who is finishing her race. I printed that from Google. Um, a Google search of someone running the race and I'm using my Illustrated Faith Girls to decorate the page and what stuck out for me as I meditated this week on this particular devotion was of course the word endurance. The word endurance kept popping out and as I did the word search on it, endurance translates to perseverance or, or patience and one writer notes that the Greek word translates to perseverance is an active endurance involving effort and struggle, not a passive patience. So this race of life with Christ, with the Lord, is something that we put tremendous put a tremendous amount of effort in. All of our energy and all of our focus goes into this race. And this is not a race where there's a competition between myself and someone else, but it's a race to finish well. It's a race to be led by the Lord is to endure hardness like a good soldier of Jesus Christ is to be able to handle the circumstances in life that God allows and by fixing my mind on Jesus fixing my eyes on Jesus he's the author and finisher of my faith therefore if I keep my eyes on him just like that runner is looking at the end of the race hoping that he or she will win I'm fixing my eyes on Jesus he gives me my strength he gives me my focus. He gives me my energy. He gives me the will and the spirit to accomplish all that I need to accomplish for the Lord in this life. And that just stuck out for me so much. It's a continuance. It's not one where I'm rushing to get there before Judith or Samantha. I'm just using them as an example since we're doing the collab. It's not about that. We're in this race together, but I have to run this race by myself for Christ and I can't compare myself to them or anyone else and vice versa because this race is for all of us. God is expecting all of us to run our race and we cannot give excuses for why we're not running the race. And here's the thing, the victory has already been won in Jesus Christ. All I have to do is just run it, run it with patience and endurance and 
great effort and I'm repeating myself on purpose so that we can finish well. Along with finishing well, one of my favorite commentators is Barnes, Albert Barnes, and he says, we are to run this race without allowing ourselves to be hindered by any obstructions or giving out or fainting. So that's why, hence the scripture says that we would run with endurance, that we would lay aside every weight, verse one, and every sin that so easily besets us. We need to take off those things that will keep us from running this race. Anything that will hold us down, from completing the task that is set before us, we need to get rid of it. And that was another thing for me, that there won't be any distractions or any heaviness that will prevent me from accomplishing God's will for my life. So what I decided to do was, I love the scripture and I wanted to be reminded of it in my Bible. And I decided to journal it in my Bible. And this is his purpose in me shop and it's about running the race endurance and I just wanted to decorate this page I hope you are inspired and encouraged to endure whatever it is that you are experiencing to persevere because you've already won Christ has done it but we are just expected to run it and follow his lead thank you Judith and Samantha for including me in this collaboration I was excited to do it and I look forward to doing more with you guys in the future and I'm excited to see what your videos are going to be. Guys, thank you for watching and take care. Bye. Here is my finished product. Just asking the Lord to help me to endure this race with grace and to finish well. And once again, I hope you guys were inspired, encouraged, and challenged by this video.